Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 2 times 2 minus 3 divided by 3 inside parentheses. At the first sign it looks like pretty easy, right? We only have multiplication sign, subtraction sign, division sign. But a lot of students make this common mistake. They don't know what is the correct order, what is the correct property, correct definition. So right now I want you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? Option A, option B, option C or option D. And in the end of the video we will check our answers. It will be really interesting, I promise you. So here's our challenge. We have our challenge 2 times 2 minus 3 dividing by 3. As you can see, we have a lot of mass operations. Here we have multiplication sign, we have subtraction sign, we have division sign. A lot of students start with multiplication, another part of students start with subtraction. But in terms of mass, it's really bad to solve our challenges randomly, to solve the challenges whatever we want. We should know what is the correct order, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer right so we should know what is the correct order let's look at this PEMDAS auto of operation this is the most popular auto of operation in the world all internet libraries scientific graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS auto of operation and how does PEMDAS works PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom it means that higher position higher priority Parenthesis has the higher position, it means that first we should evaluate the expression inside parenthesis. Next is exponents, it's like 2 square, 2 cube, like that. Next, multiplication division group. Last step is addition and subtraction. So let's solve a challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Here's our challenge. 2 times 2 minus 3 dividing by 3. Here's our challenge. And what do we have? We have parentheses, right? It means that first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. This is our first step. We find our parentheses. Inside parentheses we have two sciences. We have division sign, we have subtraction sign. What we should do at first? We should subtract or we should divide. Uh, as I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. Division, as you can see, we have right here. Subtraction, we have right here. And division has the higher position than subtraction. It means that division has the higher priority. Our second step after finding parentheses is division. We should divide 3 dividing by 3. What do we have? We have 2 inside parentheses. We have 2 minus 1, right? We complete our second step, division. Our third step is subtraction is subtraction because subtraction side is inside parentheses right what do we have we have two times times inside parentheses two minus one which is equal to one right we complete our third step our last step is multiplication as you can see we don't have any exponents we don't have any addition sciences our fourth step is multiplication two times one which is equal to two right option d Option D. This is the correct answer to this challenge. This is a correct approach, correct solution. All the time I see that my students start with multiplication and as a part of students start with subtraction. We can solve our challenges randomly, we can do whatever we want, we should know what is the correct order, we should know what is the correct property, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer. So we solved our challenge according to PEMDAS. First we find our parentheses, parentheses we have right here. We should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, right? Inside parentheses we have two sciences, subtraction side, division side. First we should divide, because division has the higher position than subtraction. Division has the higher priority. 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1. Our second step is subtraction. 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. Our last step is multiplication. 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Option D. This is the correct answer to this challenge. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand my explanation. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for your time. Have a great day and see you guys in the next videos.